You are the hands and feet of Jesus. I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It is Friday, May 22nd. Today, for chapter a day, we're reading James chapter 1. I invite you to read the entire Power Pack chapter. For this reflection, I want us to look at the last verse of the chapter. Verse 27. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless as this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. The word religion there is actually could be better translated probably religious. The religious referring to a person. It's the only time it's used here in the entire New Testament. And it means a, a careful follower of a belief system. And of course what James writes is the truly religious, the only ones that God truly accepts at least, are those who are pure and faultless. And the way they become pure and faultless is that they look after the fatherless and the widow. That is, they look after the most powerless in society. At this time, in the society, there was no a social web that would care for those who were down and out. And of course, orphans didn't have families, and widows often didn't have families because they had, uh, had out, outaged their husband who would care for them. So, at the time, they had no system of care. And of course, the church, James writes, the church is supposed to care for the powerless in society. This continued through the years, and the church stepped in where it was supposed to and acted as the truly religious should, caring for orphans and widows. And they created systems and care homes, and foster care was eventually created. Of course, here in Wapaka, we have Bethany Home. Originally, back in the 1800s, it was established as an orphanage, by Lutheran followers of Jesus to care for orphans and for those who were in need. Eventually, as that system was phased out and foster care became normative, then Bethany became a home for those who were elderly in need and in need of care. Now, we must ask, who are the little ones or the powerless in our community? who need care. Now we may have crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's when it comes to our theological orthodoxy, and that is very important. But if there is no action out in the world, then it is not acceptable to God our Father. Or as James will say, faith without works is dead. He ends this verse with, keep oneself from being polluted by the world. When I was in high school, I learned, don't drink, don't smoke, don't chew, don't go out with girls that do. The virtuous life was described in the negative. It was described by what we didn't do. We were virtuous, of course, if we didn't drink or smoke or do other things. But James says that virtue is described by what we actually do how we spend our time, our talent, and our treasures. That is what marks us as truly religious, acceptable, pure, and faultless in the eyes of God. We have to ask the question, where is a God at work in the world around us? How can we join him to help the powerless? Who do you need to help? Signing out from the lakes.